Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for October 2022. So this is a new love reading. So these are the Taurus individuals that are currently either talking to someone new, okay, uh, dating someone new, or started a relationship with somebody new. So we're just going to take a look and see what is currently going on with you guys in love, overall energies, okay? And then we'll finish off the read to see, um, take a look at your new person, new love. Uh, see what this person's like, what you need to know about them, okay? Uh, this is someone that you could be dealing with right now, or this is someone that you could be dealing with in the future. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch to roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your unique situations and your energies I suggest you book a private personal reading with me the uh, link for that is in the uh, description box below okay so um Taurus tell me about Taurus here tell me about Taurus in love tell me about Taurus in love for October 2022 Sun Moon Rising Venus signs for Taurus we have the Seven of Pentacles here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with any of those energies, past, present, or future. You might have those energies in your chart here. So, I mean, you could be looking back at the past right now, sort of like taking stock, taking inventory here. Um, uh, Taurus, you know, when it comes to love, I feel like you have a lot to offer, but I just feel like you haven't met the person that you could offer this to, okay? You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Lots of Pentacles here. Two of Swords. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So when it comes to love right now, okay, I feel like you don't have anything to give. Yeah, or that you don't want to give to the wrong wrong energy or, or that you don't want to give to the wrong person. You know, I do feel like there's some sort of confusion that you're dealing with here too. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag. You might have those energies in your chart. But, you know, this could be an indication that you're 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 just focusing on your career you're focusing on your money here okay you're trying to figure out a way to move forward here uh, 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 because you know right now with the two of swords here the energy is quite stagnated here okay tell me about the seven of pentacles why is the seven of pentacles here with the hang yeah the energy is sort of stagnated here so you know i feel like they're you know i feel like you're deep in thought right now taurus you're definitely looking at things in the bigger picture here, okay? You're definitely going through some major transition here too. The, uh, you know, maybe a major transition here in your career or in your life. Uh, Pisces energy with the hangman, okay? We have the four of pentacles here. Lots of pentacles here. Yeah, I just feel like with the four of pentacles and also the six of pentacles in reverse you just have nothing to give nothing to offer right now and i, I just feel like you're working on saving money right now for something uh eight of pentacles ten of cups two of swords four of cups so i don't i'm feeling like do you work on a current relationship that you're in that might not be working out that you feel like you're wasting your time that you know you know the right thing to do is, might be to surrender and let go or that you know just maybe you know kind of like deal with something new here a new opportunity here you know it could be that you want to uh, you know i feel like maybe you might want another opportunity here at a current situation that you, you've been in or that you were in I don't know. I feel like there's an energy of feeling bored too. It's like you're looking for more. I feel like it's not enough. The thing is, I feel like if you were dealing with a situation with someone, I feel like we're, you're not getting a lot out of it. Okay? You have the Justice card, Libra energy. 
Yeah, right now I feel like you're trying to get back into balance here because, you know, I feel like right now with the Two of Pentacles and the Justice card, I feel like things are a bit out of whack here. Or that you're just having a hard time making a decision too. The King of Pentacles, no King of Wands. With the Eight of Swords, there's definitely energy of feeling stuck here, Taurus. There's an energy of definitely feeling stuck. I, I, I do feel like there, there might be a relationship here that you are still trying to decide or figure out if you still want to continue moving forward with this individual because I feel like you are, you're already dealing with somebody, okay? But I, I just feel like you're wasting your time or that you're confused by this individual or that just the connection has really progressed. Um, let's, let's see if there's new, anyone new. Tell me about the new love, new person that uh, Taurus is dealing with. What does Taurus need to know about this individual? And keep in mind, this could be someone that's coming towards you in the future for October 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Three of Wands here. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here in the Nine of Cups. Okay. Okay, Temperance and the um, two, uh, Three of Wands. I feel like there's someone here that's just, their feelings towards you has changed when it comes to love. We have the kings and queen of wands here, okay? What I'm getting here, this queen of cups went towards a karmic, which I feel like it's that king of wands, okay? So I feel like you are still seeing a future with this individual here, but I feel like this queen went towards somebody else. You know, I do feel like with the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Cups, there, I feel like your wish fulfillment can be coming in. That's if you let this person go. Because the more that you hold on to someone that is not giving you what you want, there's no possible way that you can, you can make uh, room for somebody new, Taurus. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. It seems like you're trying to heal the connection here. It just seems like... There's an energy where I'm feeling like you're beating a dead horse here. Yeah, you're beating a dead horse here because I feel like you keep trying and trying with this individual, but this individual is not really receptive of it. They're not giving you what you want. They're dealing with somebody new here. Uh, Temperance, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Seven of Swords here. You know, I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking you to cut this out because I feel like this person is just going to continue to be deceptive towards you. Okay, so this situation is definitely, you know, sort of like robbing you of your life in a way because I just feel like there's an energy of really being stuck on this individual uh, because their, their feelings towards you, like I said, the Queen of Cups in the reverse has totally changed. Queen of Cups here, Five of Swords, the uh, Ace of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this individual completely disengaged. This person definitely selfishly is looking out for themselves here, selfishly in a bad way. The Ace of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. You know, I, I feel like you're definitely blocking yourself here from new love. Yeah, because I feel like you're holding on to the past here. This this person definitely left you to be with somebody else. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's a, a, you know, you do have a strong soulmate connection with this individual, but like I said, I feel like this person's feelings has changed because the Queen of Cups is in the upright. And like I said, this is keeping you from your blessings here, okay? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.